Today is Veterans Day, a time to honor military heroes who fought for our country over the years. But when they return from action, they may have emotional issues and no means to deal with them. Joining me now to talk about a program aimed at helping military personnel with those issues, Kathy Brenny Arnsick from the Director of Outreach for the Military Family Research Institute at Purdue. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about this new program that you guys are involved in, the STAR Behavioral Health Providers. Tell me about what that is. Well, really what STAR Behavioral Health Providers is, is a, a program aimed at training civilian behavioral health clinicians as well as providing a registry for those who have issues or challenges with military service a way for them to find these specially trained providers That's, and it sounds like a resource both for veterans and for health professionals at the same time to come together and get the care that the veterans need right so we train the civilian health providers in everything from military culture to impact of deployment to um, TBI and substance abuse all of the issues that are challenging to military members and it's not just veterans it's military families as well as currently serving service members so we cover the broad range it sounds like like you said there are a myriad of different issues that the veterans might face when they come home from war and these people are already trained in the civilian issues that they might see so why is it important for them to get this special military training that they can get it to veterans a lot of the military culture is self-sufficiency I got it I'm covered I can handle it but we do know that they do face issues and they need someone who is understanding and knowledgeable about the challenges specifically with that military culture a lot of service members and veterans may not want to go to someone who doesn't understand it. It's that you don't get what I'm going through. So this training really allows these civilian behavioral health clinicians to get um, a military sensitivity, an understanding of what deployment is like, what the families go through. And so while they may not have necessarily served in the military, they do gain an understanding of that special military perspective. And let's talk about what an important resource this must be. With all we're learning, it seems year by year more, uh, more about the post-traumatic stress disorder and mental health issues and psychological behavior, especially associated with veterans. Talk about how this resource import is important in that larger context. In the larger context, we know that the VA is doing a lot to care for the service members and the veterans. But in terms of the numbers and what's happening is that they really can't provide service to every single veteran, every single service member. And there are people who may not necessarily be eligible for those services. This provides another resource, a community context, where veterans and service members and families can get the care that they need. It's still another option for them. Let's talk about this extensive network that's been built up in Indiana and other states. Talk about how many people it helps and, and what it's doing. Well, right now, from the time that we started training in August of 2011, we've trained over 1,300 participants. It's now moved to Michigan and Georgia. Currently in Indiana, we have 269 providers on the registry, covering many counties, over half the counties. In Tippecanoe County, we have about five providers on the registry. Um, but it continues to grow. There's a lot of excitement about having this community context in terms of where veterans and service members can get and help. And quickly, the website where people can find more. www.starproviders.org. All right, Kathy Bernie Arnsick, Director of Outreach, Military Family Research Institute at Purdue. Thank you very much. Thank you.